Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to harvest this Azola. As you can see, the Azola is doing quite good. After a very long time of hustling with this Azola and having problems with it, now it's time to harvest it. I have recorded and documented all uh, the journey on this Azola and uh, I have done videos. You can see videos on the, on the, on the link above above this one and so today i'm going to show you how to harvest my azola and um, the right time to harvest your azola when the roots are not too long they're not too short and the amount of azola is quite quite okay uh come on let me show you <clears throat> how my azola is as you can see the azola is quite thick and uh is doing quite okay and uh, the root size it's not too big as you can see those roots are not uh, very long uh, this this is a very very nice nice size for the roots because if you if you let it if you let it overstay uh the, the roots start becoming very very long and uh it's not no it's not very presentable and you want a lot of mass to be on this green part not on the roots so without wasting much more time we'll start harvesting our azola so you just the process of harvesting azola is just scooping you're not supposed uh, to harvest your azola when it's very tiny it's the same thing like overfishing when you're overfishing and uh, you are fishing all the fingerlings it's not good for the population of your of your fish it's the same thing with your azola you let all your azola multiply then you harvest all of it then after harvesting all of it you go and dry and you drain all the water you feed it to your animals and the rest, the remaining one, you dry it for future use. And then, if, if your pond doesn't have enough manure, you, that's the time that you add more manure. So I'll harvest the entire pond and store this azola and give this pond adequate time to, re, to, to regrow. So let's get to it. As you can see, the mass of this azola is quite quite much uh, to, to fill this crate it will not take a very big space so first I'll harvest this crate and we'll see how the process goes I'm using this porous crate so that uh, when I pour my azola the, the draining of water will continue <coughs> so after harvesting the, low, the amount of water will be very low so let's get to it As you can see, the process of harvesting now is done. And uh, you can see the amount of azola that I've harvested in just this small space. As you can see right here, uh, you can't tell if the azola is harvested, but if you look closely, you can see the population now has reduced, has reduced a bit. But uh, up, up to this far, I can get another crate. So up to the end of this pond, I can harvest like this severally. I can harvest up to five to six times before this azola is done. But uh, tomorrow I'll harvest another batch or I come, I harvest all of it. I dry all of it. Then uh, then I let the azola, then I let the azola grow again. Then after several harvest, I add some more manure. So thank you for watching guys. I'll see you in the next educational video.